Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another tutorial for you guys. I'm starting my hair off on hair that I just detangled and twisted into 12 sections. I normally do about 10 to 12 sections with this hairstyle and it's really quick and it's really really easy to do. The only things I'm going to be using are shea butter and water as usual. I already have mono oil in my hair so I'm not going to be putting more because I don't want my hair to be too oily. Yeah, I think that is it. So I have just those two sections left to do and I normally use this pink rod but today I'm using this small orange rod because it gives me better definition. I just wanted to see how it turned out. So I'm starting by spraying water on that section and the purpose of this is to make my hair soft so it's able to hold a curl. Then I'm going to detangle it making sure that the water spreads throughout my hair. Then I'm going to put my shea butter about that size that amount rub it between my palms to melt it out then I'm going to rub it into my hair making sure you focus on the ends the shea butter is going to make your hair really malleable and lock in the moisture so your hair can hold definition then I'm just going to split my hair into three sections and do a simple basic braid and making sure you braid very firmly not too tight so you don't like pull out your hair but braid really firmly then at the end you're going to leave about two or three inches from the end and split that into two sections if your ends get dry please spray more water on it because you don't want your ends to be dry before you put in the perm rod then I'm taking my perm rod and I'm going to wrap my hair around the rod with that motion. You can wrap your hair in any direction. It doesn't have to be a specific direction. It doesn't matter. But just make sure you wrap it around the rod. Notice how I'm not rolling it flat, I'm wrapping it. So you see how firm the braid is and how consistent it is. That's how you want your braid to be. Then the rods at the end. So like I said, I have 12 sections in my hair. I normally do about 8 to 10. And I always make sure I do two sec two, a section or two at the top of my hair so my hair is not flat when I take it down. And as you can see, I have two perm rods at the end of each braid. So I'm just going to go to bed exactly like that. Oh yeah, I ended up putting a bandana around my head in the night because I didn't want the braids to be rubbing up on my forehead. And I'm going to use monoid oil to take down my hair so that I can reduce the frizz. See, I'm taking out the rod and you see how defined the curl is, it's really really defined, that's because my hair was very moisturized, it tangled and it was very soft from the water and the shea butter before I did my style. So you see why I used these rods at the end and why I wrapped it around because the definition at the end kind of matches the braid definition so that's what I was trying to achieve. So now 
I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff my hair. You always want to start from the back. It's better for you to start from the back when you're fluffing your hair. And notice how I fluff a couple of sections and pick the roots. I don't pick my hair at the end when I'm done fluffing. I fluff and pick as I go on. So it will help me reduce frizz. And keep in mind that this style already comes with a certain amount of frizz to make the style look good. So you don't want to go overboard with it. So you want to reduce the frizz as much as possible. Anyways, this is what my hair finally looks like after fluffing and you know arranging it in the center part. So notice how the curls from the perm rod at the end are really set. So another thing, if you do a braid out sometimes and your hair like the ends of your hair don't look controlled sort of, you can always use perm rods at the end to control the end of your braid out. Um, I ended up also trying this with the side pin down and this is what it looks like. And I also tried it this way too, so you can style this anyhow you like basically. Let me know which one you guys prefer down in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Also, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you!